Hi guys, I am back with um a toy review or a collector review because you guys know I'm a collector and it's been a while since I made one of these reviews. But as you can see here, I managed to get my hands on some of the new Zuru mini brands that have come out over the last um i would say month and in one case they haven't gotten to the stores yet but i was still able to get my hands on some so we're just going to review um these four balls so if some of you who are collectors like i am have been on the fence about getting these we can just take a look at them and you can see if they are worth your time to try to track them down or order them online etc 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 um i am actually really excited about the mini verse ones i will be having a mini first um review video coming out pretty soon and i'm really excited about the alcohol theme ones as well as the harry potter theme ones i've seen on um instagram and social media um so once if i'm able to get my hands on those i will also do a video with those but for now we have these four capsules as you can see i have the many brands create garden i got my hand on one these are now available at target i was also able to get at target the mini brands retro ones which do as you can see here have um, a epic frozen moment mini in those and then through me scouring Alibaba not Alibaba Aliexpress it's the same company but Aliexpress I was able to get my hands on the mini brands home one which i am really excited about um because if you guys have followed my journey here on youtube some of you may know that i am a retired cake artist i was a cake artist for 12 years before i just started to get into the crafting business and i am excited about this little guy right here this is this is the one i want which is why i got these hopefully there's one in one of these two little balls if not i'm just gonna have to order more until i can get my hands on them so we'll just go in order we're gonna slide those down like that hopefully they'll stay and not roll all over the place we'll do the one that i am not that most excited about which is the garden one i am not a plant person per se we have some plants in our house but i'm not a huge plant person but i thought this was kind of cute just to see what they look like so i picked up one ball so i can see what they look like and as you can see here on the bottom it says it's made with recycled plastic so that is good so you can just go ahead and recycle this plastic um that part of it is a lot easier to digest for me buying these balls if the plastic is recycled and can be recycled so i don't feel so wasteful because that was my one biggest critique about um the zuru balls and mga balls as well is that they use a lot of plastic so if we can get recycled plastic and they can be recycled that just makes me feel a little bit better so let's get this open and as you can see here, it is a white ball. We'll put that to the side. Um, it does have a slight smell to it. I guess it's a unused smell, um, which is a little weird. I haven't opened up a ball before that had smells. But as you can see, here is the Magic UV Glue. It's just resin. I would say, um, just like with the big Miniverse recall, and then they're doing the new ones just be careful with this under supervision i'm a crafter so i'm used to using uv resin um but if you're not please wear gloves a mask use in ventilated areas etc etc um you do not want to get this on your hands and if you do you may need to wash it off right away with soap and then sometimes i would follow up with alcohol just to make sure it's completely off but here you go you have your little resin we have our little info booklet here and it says ages six plus um because this has resin i would not let um if i had a little one that age i don't think i would let them use this i would probably say um a teenager because you can they would understand about uv resin and be a little bit more careful about it but i don't know how i feel about that but anyway here are what you have here as you can see what you can make and then it gives you instructions on how to make them here so that's that let's see what we have here and then the first packet oh 
So I guess you do got to kind of get from there because as I saw these on the thing, you kind of get an idea about what you get. And in this one, I get a little succulent. Here is the pot, the fake soil. And then the plant itself, it is two-tone. It is plastic. And then in this one, oops. Oh, you get two. Okay, so yeah. So you kind of know what you're getting before you even open the paper packages up. Because if you look on the back here, I got that one and then I got this. So that just shows you if you open this up before you open the packages up, you kind of know what you're getting. So that was the surprise. But I mean, they're still cute. So like I said, we have these three pieces for this. We have this this a little rock and then we have the pieces oh oh it's a cute little shovel and then like the little plastic rock as i said right here and then we have all of the plant pieces to make this is what it would look like when it's done and that one so if you're following you want all of these um this is what this one looks like and that's what that one looks like we are not going to make these right now i just wanted to kind of show you guys what these look like i will figure out how i want to make these later if i want to add something to them like some fake dirt or something but yeah so that is what the mini brands garden looks like it's cute it's not my best of the mini brands ones but it's definitely it's definitely cute especially if you're a garden person or a plant person so next we are going to open up the mini brands retro now i am very excited for these because i saw some of these once again on social media and i was like oh that is so cute that is so cool um and me being a true i'm aging myself but me being a true 80s baby i was born in 1980 um i'm very excited about some of the items that come in these little capsules so there we go we have one two three four five like the five surprises we have the five packages here is our little collector's guide let's fold it out and it says what does it say here 60 plus to collect so you get 60 plus retro themed items to collect here as you can see and then here is what this side looks like it looks like we have um some legendary items here some iconic items they look like they glow in the dark we have some luxury some ultra rare some rare and then i guess on the back are all the ones that's common so there's a lot of different ones to collect it looks like in this series so depending on how i like it i may pick up a couple more so let's just start opening these and see what we have in our first package we have oh that's really cute a really vintage box of it looks like eight crayola it looks like collector edition eight colors it is a vintage box of crayons that is really cute I like the colors on that one. Let's see what else we got here. We have, oh, <laughs> we have the retro Pringles potato chips and of course, and it has some type of metallic color on there. So I wonder if it's the, oh, it is. It is one of the, what is this? Luxury pieces. So that's what I got. That's that right there. And it looks like the Crayola box that I picked up is in the ultra rare category. So we are actually doing pretty good with this ball here. We have, oh, that's really cute. It's kind of big, but it's really cute. A diet, classic diet Coke can here. And I saw this, this was one on one of the commons. What else do we have here? What is this? Oh, that's so cute energizer batteries as you can see here and let's see where is that at the energizer batteries there it goes it's under the common as well and then for our last 
surprise we have. What is this? Oh, the package of gummy bears. That is really, really cute as well. I'm a huge gummy bear lover. So this is really, really cute. And let's see if we can find that on here. Gummy bears. I do not see the gummy bears on the common. Wait, nope, that's Dum Dums. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. The the gummy bears is also in ultra. There it is. It's in ultra rare one as well. So we got two ultra rare, one luxury, and then two common. So this was actually a pretty good ball. These are cute, but I do have my eye on the mead composition notebook. Um, the cereals just to add to my collection for my one six stall scale um, dioramas and stuff like that. And then, of course, we all want the legendary ones, the frozen moment ones. So, and then let's see. Oh, I think the film ones are actually really cute, too, as well. And then the 3M products. So, as you can see from this ball, I'm actually pretty excited about what I got. And I think I will be going to my Target and going to pick up some more of these balls. So, um, if you're a fan of the mini brands you would like the retro collection now with all the mini brands the scale is much to be desired as you can see here the scale is kind of like all over the place there isn't like one the scale isn't like specifically one six or one twelve it's it looks like a mixture of both and um even a little bit bigger because this diet coke can is too big for my one six dolls so and it's a little too small for my 18 inches so i'm not too sure about what particular scale this is but anyway they're very cute so we'll put that to the side right there and now we're going to open up what i am most excited about these balls right here i'm so excited about these things if i can get it open And then where is it? Oh, there it is. There we go. All the trash to the side. Move out the way trash. Okay. Now let's see what we get. We get, ooh, that one's kind of big. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we get five surprises as well. In the home oh this home guide is really thick and chunky it's really thick it says for ages three plus i don't know about that because three-year-olds still put things in their mouths so i don't know about that but wow it is a really thick guide guys it is look at this look at this look at this it's so many things. I see so many things from this cut from 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 this guy that um, I want, and I didn't even get a chance to look at it really well. So, yeah, I'm gonna look at that later. But guys, th there's a lot of things to the mini brands home. So, I feel like this this one this one's a winner winner, and it's gonna be very popular among the collectors. So let's get into. It. We'll open up some of the smaller packages first, just to warm up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we have a little cutting board right there. Um, let's open up this one next because this one is also small as well. What we got in here? It looks like we got some magazines. We do have some little magazines for like your coffee table. We have traditional home and then we have southern living. That's kind of cute. So we have that. Um, next biggest one is this one. What do we have in here? Oh, we have, it looks like a little purple Tupperware. Oh, that's so cute. And that's definitely, to me, that's definitely one six. That would work weight in a little one six scale diorama. That's really cute. Um, let's go with this one next. Oh, 
oh this is adorable it's a very very small very very small but very cute it looks like the little ikea cubes storage and a, with um the boxes and then the box instead of the boxes being fabric they are oh they just slid out they are purple plastic let's see if i can get this one back in here here we go oh my god that is so cute it's definitely very very small it's it would be more to sit on a one six scale item than being one six scale itself i'm not too sure what scale this is but it's definitely not one twelve at all but it's very cute it also comes with a little instruction booklet but this was already put together in it so i'm not too sure why we need this i guess maybe yeah this was already put together and all i had to do was put the little boxes in so yeah we don't need that and then the last one here is oh my god yes yes this is what i wanted score score first freaking cube i am so excited you guys don't know how excited i am about this thing oh my god 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 i'm so excited it even oh this is this is too much this is this is this is, this is too much first of all the box classic and i have four KitchenAid mixers because like i said i used to be a cake artist oh my god this is so cute and then it has the little instructions oh my god and it kind of shows you how to put it together oh it's too dang cute and adorable. I think I'm just going to keep that and just put it back in a box. But if you guys have ever bought a Kitchen 8 stand mixer before, you will know these pieces. So in a Kitchen 8 stand mixer, it comes with these two styrofoam pieces that just hugs the mixer together and then you have to like break it apart. But that's what that is. That is iconic and definitely super, super, super cute. And then you get all of the items the attachments oh my god you get the dough hook attachment the paddle the whisk and then the standard paddle attachment guys 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 do you see the cuteness this is very cute this is so stinking cute let's put that back in the box and then we get the mixer itself <gasps> did you just see that did you see that did you see that oh my god so cute it has all of the details of a big kitchen aid stand mixer oh my god this is so cute and then here is the bowl that goes with it oh my god and it just sits there like that oh my god this is too 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 cute and this is um it's somewhere i'm not too sure if it's 112 or 16 but it's definitely cute. I will have to put it against my dolls to see which one will fit better. But, oh my God, I am loving this. I am loving this. I am loving this. This box right here, mm, yes. This one, yes. This capsule, yes. So, let's see what we get in the other one. Oh my God. And now I want to run right after this video. Go on AliExpress and order a ton more balls because, oh guys, I'm so excited. So stinking excited. Okay, here we go. Let's get this last one open. Forget the little pull tab part. Like, we just use a knife over here. Let's get this open. Yes, 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 yes. Oof. Okay. Open up. Here we go. We have all the pieces out. We'll put that capsule back there. And like I said, we'll start with the smaller ones. Whoa, we got stuff just falling out all over the place out of this one. What is this? It looks like it comes with instructions. I tore the instructions a little bit, but I can figure it out. That's fine. Let me see here. Oh, it is a cute little table, like a cute little end table. Um, Definitely not one six. Or 12 this is more like 124 scale so also guys beware with the many brands once again we have a scale issue the scale is all over the place 
from opening lots and lots of these balls it looks like the scale ranges from anywhere from 124 to like bigger than one than one six but not one eighth like that is the one critique i have with them i wish it was the scale was the same throughout each and every series this is cute it looks like a little woven basket it is plastic it's very cute that would be cute to sit on a table oh and i have my first double i got another little cutting board but you can always use these to put little food on and you can glue them down if you get multiples of those so that's not bad to get a double of <gasps> what do we have here we have another cooking item guys what is this it looks like i don't want to take it out but it looks like it is a little pot that's very very cute where's the guide at because i don't want to take the top off first i think i will if i get a double oh from master chef this is what i got here the casserole with a lid so that's what i got here that's what that looks like i don't want to take the top off yet that is really cute it's very 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 once again very small very very small a little too small for one six it looks more like 112 scale to me for your little dollhouse kitchens and then what is this one that i have in here oh i got another stinking appliance oh this is too much i got the black and decker power series stick vacuum oh my god this is so cute this is too much. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. We have the guide to put it together. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It has all of the pieces and the attachments. Um, I won't put it together right, right now. But as you can see, this is what we got. And the boxes, like always, many brands always comes through on the packaging. You can read it. You can see how clear the pictures are. This is just they this is just chef's kiss. So they actually do a really, really good job with their packaging, even though their scale is all over the place. But yeah, guys, so that is my unboxing and review of the Mini Brands Garden, the Mini Brands Retro, and then the Mini Brands Home. So in closing, this is what I will say. If you are a fan of mini brands you will like these three new series um if you like if i say anything else you can kind of pass on the mini grants create garden it's okay um i probably wouldn't buy more but i will definitely get more retro balls and i will definitely 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 get more of the mini brands home the mini brands home guys this one right here this right here it's where it's at if you're a collector like me, this is where it's at. This is where you spend all your coins on, the Mini Brands Home. And it's not in stores yet. I'm not too sure when it's going to be dropping. Um, I will get more balls, of course, once I see it at like my local Target. But for right now, I will just keep buying them off of AliExpress. AliExpress shipping has gotten much faster. I got these within a week of ordering them, which is very, very quick. And they're about $8.49 a ball, which is what you would pay anyway for the store, inside the store, at target so um it is definitely worth if you don't want to wait to go out at like express and grab a couple of balls like i did or you can just wait till they come to your local stores but until then stay blessed guys bye bye